Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla News, episode 21. Tesla's secret project Roadrunner is breaking surface. Nissan and Renault is in serious trouble, but some good news from Fastway. Tesla's semi-truck is put to work, and the Tesla Roadster takes off like a bat out of hell, and the Cybertruck goes for a swim. All this and much more to come on today's episode. Let's dive right in. Tesla gets its own street named after it. The street south of Giga Berlin got a new name, Tesla Straße. And we heard before that Tesla's paint shop in Giga Factory Berlin is going to be the most advanced paint shop in the world. And Sandy Monroe has criticized Tesla for their paint job on their cars, so maybe this will help. Because Tesla posted two new jobs for its revolutionary paint shop in Giga Berlin in the past month. The EV automaker is looking for a manufacturing engineer for paint and process engineer for paint for the Giga factory in Berlin. Both positions were posted in June. And of course, some drone footage of the Giga factory 4 that just continues construction at blazing speed. This time with some videos from Giga Berlin and Jet Fox YouTube channels, you should definitely go check out the whole video on their channels. Some awesome drone shots of the Giga Berlin construction site. Link in the description below. And some cool news coming out of the Netherlands. This warehouse in the Netherlands is owned by logistic firm Renus, and this is a golden standard for the big buildings in the future. They have over 13,000 solar panels on the roof, producing four times more energy than the building needs, and sell the rest back to the grid, which powers 750 homes. Good business for Renus and good for the planet. This should be by law. If you want to make a big building, you have to put solar on top of it. No solar, no building permits. And some news about Tesla's secret project Roadrunner. Tesla has applied for city government approval to build a battery production facility under the file name Project Roadrunner. Based on the documents submitted to the city government, Tesla wants to renovate and expand Tesla Fremont factory, which houses the Roadrunner project. The renovation and expansion will make room for battery manufacturing equipment and research and development. They will not change the footprint of the factory, but construct additional floor area space at their second and third floor inside the factory, adding almost 13,000 square feet of space in the factory. This is all indicating that Tesla has solved the battery bottleneck issue, and this will help producing batteries for the upcoming semi-truck, cyber-truck, Plaid version series of the Roadster and Model S and so on, and they really want to ramp up. Because Tesla is hiring four shift of up to 100 people to work 24-7 on Roadrunner battery manufacturing and research and development. Wow. This still begs the question, why are Tesla still not finished with the Nevada Giga factory and just expanding battery capacity at that factory that is only 30% built? Well, that's a topic for a whole different video. And speaking of batteries, we are all still waiting impatiently for battery day. But now we also have the shareholder meeting coming. And Elon has been tweeted that they may be doing both of them at the same time. Elon tweeted, tentative date for Tesla shareholder meeting and battery day is September 15th. Will include tour of cell production system, which also confirms that this will be held in Fremont. So we can see the new Project Roadrunner live. Going to be a long, big and exciting day. So put the date in your calendar, September 15th, and cross your fingers. And another Tesla features in Jay Leno's garage, the Tesla Model Y. And Jay once again talks a lot about how great Tesla and Elon is and the innovation they have done. You should go watch this episode of Jay Leno's Garage. I will leave a link to the show below. And remember, Jay Leno, who can pick almost any car in the world, choose a Tesla as his daily driver. Just a little food for thought. And the first real live review of Tesla's solar glass roof is starting to pop up with some incredible results. And I can only recommend you watch this video from the Newman family where they talk about all the benefits. 
I'll leave a link in the description below. But one thing I thought was cool is not just the savings and going green, but also that the grid actually went down and they wouldn't even have noticed if it wasn't for the alert on the app showing them that they were now off grid and running 100% on their own made energy. Just so cool. And some news about SpaceX. We got a crazy sight when SpaceX moved the SN5 Starship to its launch site. I will leave a link below to Le Petra's full video of this crazy sight. Starship NS5 will become the first fully scaled prototype to attempt control flight, hopping to at least 150 meters, 500 feet. This is going to be nuts. Can't wait. And of course SpaceX has blown up something since last episode. This time a Starship tank to test new metal alloy. I'll leave a link to the whole video down below. And a big shout out to Andre Kapathy. Because MIT Technology presents 35 brilliant young entrepreneurs, innovators, visionaries, humanitarians and pioneers who are all working to make the world a better place. The list's 35 innovators under 35 represent young people who are looking for ways to use technology to help people. And Andre Kapathy entered this list in their innovation pioneer. This man that is director of artificial intelligence and autopilot vision at Tesla is only 33 years old. Wow. Amazing job, Andre, and congratulations. And speaking of full self-driving, remember if you have a Tesla without the full self-driving package, it will go up in price on the 1st of July by a thousand dollars. And some cool software updates for the Tesla Model S. Tesla has increased the top Model S and X supercharging rate to 225 kilowatt through a software update. But it's not clear which vehicle are going to be able to get the update. But this just once again shows you the power of great software and being able to make over the air updates. No other EV than Tesla has got longer range since it came out. And 225 kilowatts charging, not many other cars can even compete with this rate of charging. Nice update, Tesla. And speaking of updates, Tesla could soon include cross traffic alerts for drivers who are backing up their vehicles, according to Elon Musk in a recent post on Twitter. Nice. And the latest update 2020.24.6.1 allows you to view side repeater video feeds as I talked about in my last episode. But Tesla Trey posted a video on Twitter that this actually works while you're driving, not only in reverse. Very cool with all these new updates. And Vincent posted on Twitter this very nice drone video of the Model 3 on a racetrack in China, overtaking a couple of cars. One being the Porsche Cayman S. Huh. Very symbolic. And Tesla enters yet another top 10. Tesla's Model S, Model 3, Model X all broke into Cars.com's top 10 American made index list, taking three out of the 10 places in the motoring resource ranking. This was quite a debut for Tesla, as this year marks the first year that the Silicon Valley based automaker made its first appearance in Cars.com's rankings. The annual survey ranks new vehicles that contribute most to the US economy through US based factory jobs, manufacturing plants and part sourcing. Very impressive and congratulations Tesla. And Tesla's semi-truck is put to work. A Tesla semi-prototype has been spotted being used by the automaker to deliver cars during the end of the quarter delivery push. Tesla is having difficulties moving cars through rail yard and trucking companies who are operating under difficult circumstances because of the global pandemic. So therefore Tesla is now using the semi-prototype to help deliver its vehicles at the end of the quarter. It is not the first time they have done this. Elon did make a tweet last year showing the Tesla semi-truck delivering Tesla cars. They're just something really cool about delivering electric vehicles on an electric truck. It's like getting a peek into the future. And some bad news. That can make a bad future for Nissan and Renault. Up to 1.5 million Renault and Nissan vehicles sold in Britain could be equipped with illegal defeat divisions according to a lawsuit being launched against the car manufacturer. Hope for their sake, it is not true. Or they are looking at some crazy big fines and we will have yet another diesel gate. 
Oh my God, guys, do you just want to die? And some good news from Volkswagen. After 116 years, Volkswagen's Swiss cow factory produced its last fossil fuel vehicle. This factory has made many cars for many different car companies through its 116 years, but for now, it will only make electric vehicles for Volkswagen, Audi and Seat. That's sweet music to my ears. And let's talk a little bit about the Cybertruck. In a recent lighthearted post, Elon Musk referred Cybertruck's potential amphibious capabilities once more. Musk's tweet was a response to a rather humorous concept video featuring the all-electric pickup truck being used as a boat. <laughs> And while such a concept may be far-fetched for the skeptics, the idea of an amphibian vehicle may actually be pretty feasible. Elon has been saying before, I think we could make it work, in a tweet when he noted that the Cybertruck would float for a while when driving over deep waters. And you know, if Elon says, I think we could make it work, something crazy is about to happen. And if you doubt this man, remember, this is the same guy that made this happen. Yeah, don't bet against Elon. And the amusing render of the Cybertruck boat was created by Slav Popolsky, the same 3D artist that came up with this concept video of the next-gen Roadster, equipped with the SpaceX cold gas thrusters, showcasing just how crazy the all-electric supercar's 1.1 second 0-60 launch could be. Yeah, can't wait to see this for real, it's going to be insane. And let's end off with a Bit of fun. While Tesla is known for setting uh, goals that are completely beyond anything that the auto industry would possibly ever do, unfortunately Tesla is also known for not meeting those goals. Elon Musk said that there is going to be Model 3s manufactured from the China plant by the end of 2019. So far the China plant is um, basically an open field with some digging going on. It's harder and harder to believe that there will be Model 3s coming out of the Tesla China Gigafactory by the end of the year. According to my sources, if Tesla wants to win at China, they need to get cars out fast. But the problem is, um, but what Tesla doesn't have right now is a factory. So that's a problem. Yeah, maybe she should have got some better sources. <laughs> Check out the whole video. It's great fun. That is all we have time for in this news episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Yes, right down there. It really... No, not that one. The other one. Yeah, exactly. The thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that one. It really helps this video out a lot. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I come out with news episodes every Sunday and other videos in between about Tesla and everything Elon Musk. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. And remember, you can support the show even more for just $1, but it really helps out the channel a lot. So please head over to patreon.com bestandtesla if you want to support and choose your level of support and get your shout out on this channel. And to all my Patreons, thank you so much for helping me keep this channel alive. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>